Hello and welcome to this video. So this video we're going to be going over the um, new rules for the Sisters of Battle. Now I won't be going over each individual unit in depth, but I will be having a look at, only if, if not all of them, uh, a good majority of them. Uh, before we carry on, however, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button and smash the bell button in with your chainsaw and you'll see more videos like this. So. Um, I've really flicked through um, the points of cre increases, um, some terrain rolls, and that's it. So I have genuinely not looked at the um, the new, um, good golly gosh, the, where are they? Sisters of Battle, basically. Adeptus Sororitas. Sororitas. Uh, we'll go over the fluff. If you want to take a picture of it, screenshot, go for it. Um, boom. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Yep. And again. And again. This isn't rules, is it? Nope. It's fluff. It's pretty decent. Maybe I'll read a bit myself later. Um, so some pictures. So it's genuinely like a little codex. Again, you can take a screenshot of this if you will, uh, if you wish. Um, anytime you like. Boom. Boom. Doesn't look like they've got new models on there, am I wrong? I don't, no, I'm definitely not wrong. Although it does like it's maybe a 32 wheel base. Is that a 32 wheel base? Is it? Nah, it's probably a 25. Um, so here we have the rules. So you can take a quick, quick screenshot of that if you wish. Boom, and then we'll have a quick glance. Keywords. Uh, basically, like uh, chapters or regiments, um, you pick an order. Um, all members of the Adeptus Sorority belong to an order. You must include a unit, blah, 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 blah. It's an order. For example, if your armies include the canoness of the Order of the Bloody Rose Hair, order faction keyword is Order of the Bloody Rose, rather unsurprisingly. And her lead, the Righteous Ability, would say reroll hit rolls of one for friendly Order of the Bloody Rose within six inches of this model. So that tells you, it says everything. So it doesn't say uh, Dreadnoughts, Bikers and Tacticals or Space Marines, Infantry, uh, I could be wrong, so we'll keep reading that. Acts of Faith, if your, include, if your army includes any models with this ability at the start of the, with three faith points, plus one faith point for every additional 10 models with this ability, okay, so this seems a bit convoluted, um, they can be spent in attempts of Acts of Faith, listed below, each can only be attempted once per battle round, so movement, you can do it, and then you can do it again in shooting, basically. And must spend one faith point each time you do so. If you have no faith points remaining, you cannot attempt an act of faith, rather obvious. Um, to attempt act of faith, select a unit of the army, that like that's faith, blah, 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 and roll a, do a test, D6, uh, is less than the act of faith devotion's value. Okay, so roll a D6, if it's a four, you gotta get a four plus. Um, Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Let me reread read that. It's less than the act of faith or unmodified roll of one. The test fails. Okay, so I was right. So if you get a one or it's fit or it's less, it'll fail. Um, Hand of the Emperor. Let's have a look. At three inches. That's a four, so 50% of the time. Three inch move, so you can make a move fast. Pretty good. It just says move characteristics, so you could advance. So if they've got a move of six, they have a move of nine inches plus D6. So it could be a possibility of 15 inch move. Pretty cool. Spirit of the Martyr. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, move phase. <coughs> uh, D3, D3 lost wounds. You know, if they have no wounded models, so then you can return one model with one wound. Within one inch if it's not possible. That's kind of cool. Um, let me just read that. So one, uh, it says you can spend it. Oh yeah, so it only costs one faith point anyway. Edges the Emperor, Nicholas Reed. Um, so, his opponent's Sega face, X successful. I feel like you can. Um, blah, blah, blah. And a 4 plus, the wound is ignored. Ah, okay, so it's a mortal wound. So, if they do like D6 mortal wounds, you've got a, a 4 up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, you can basically go, uh, no, I don't like your psychic powers and your smitiness. Go away. Um, use this act of faith, shooting fits as a divine guidance. Uh, X successful, re roll. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made with this unit. That's pretty cool. Again, 50% of the time, um, you're going to get add one. So that would be cool against flyers, wouldn't it? Hmm, interesting. 
the passion. Use this active faith at the start of your fight phase. If successful, the selected units can be chosen to fight twice in that phase. Light of the Emperor, that's a five, so that's not likely gonna happen often. So uh, a good 60% of the time it's gonna fail, possibly. Light of the Emperor. Use this active faith and morale phase. Automatic, that's cool, that's good. Uh, if you wanna keep them alive, you can really annoy your enemy by just going, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Boom. Right, Shield of Faith. Um, okay, so this is an ability, isn't it? Um, it's not so much a um, an act of faith. Shield of Faith. Models in this unit have a six plus invulnerable save. In addition, deny psychic powers, blah, blah, blah. So that's model range, blah, 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 blah. Only roll single D6, okay. So it is good. Not awesome, but it's good. Um, unless I've read that wrong. Zealot. Reroll failed hit rolls. Unit and say blah 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 blah. Charge move all those things. That's cool. This is the web the web Nicholas. This is their um war gear. Um cool. So I'll zoom out, you do a screenshot if you wish, boom. If you aren't already, boom. Right. Move on. Celestine, I think people have already gone over this, but I'll have a quick glance at her. Six wounds. Two up save, that's good. Toughness three, not great, but obviously she's less than 10 wounds, so it'll be hard to hit her. She's got other things, hasn't she, where she can... Um, I still military, I'm have a six plus invulnerable save, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 blah. Cool, 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 cool. So that's all right. So we'll have a you know, quick glance at her. Let's look at the less... Um, Characterful. So, Cannoness. This is probably a go to Gal, isn't she? Um, lead the Righteous. Reroll hit rolls of one for order. So, there's your um, Space Marine Captain. Toughness three, five wounds, three up, save leadership nine. Good. Two plus, two plus, ballistic skill, weapon skill. She has a bolt pistol, but she can take ranged weapons or pistols list. Uh, and from the melee list. Let's have a quick glance at that again, really quick. So, pistols, uh, they've got some different ones, haven't they? Inferno pistol and a plasma pistol and a bolt pistol. That's good. Special weapons, the cat's here. She can take melee, so power maul, power sword, power chain sword. Cool. Uh, and range weapons, silly. Silly, silly, silly. Combi flames, combi melters. Good, good, good. Condemner belt, bolt gun. I'll have to read that. So I like it. Pretty cool. Four plus invulnerable saves. So she's like a captain, but she's not going to work exactly in the same way, but not far off. Again, Orion Jacobs, I'm not going to be going over him entirely in a manner which is basically totally in depth. Blah, blah, blah. Single missionary in each detachment. Okay. Right. Leadership, term. So I feel like they're almost definitely going right. You are going to use these with your guardsmen. So again, take a screenshot if you wish. Boom. Missionary. So this is like a Ray Jacob, except he is a lesser guy, basically, or a lesser gal. Yeah, that happens. Oh, gun, last pistol. I'm surprised it's not a last gun. I'm surprised. Yep. Right, okay. Battle Sister Squad, so this is your troop choice. So. Everything almost like a space marine, with the exception of the toughness and strength, the leadership. I think it's a better or worse. Who knows? Um, I think it's the same. So they get, uh, let's have a look. Bolt pistol, bolt gun, frag and crack. So they are basically a space marine in that respect. Obviously they're not, so I'm not, so don't like take this the wrong way. I'm, I'm just saying it, they're like them, but not the same, okay? Similar, I can't pronounce that. Sim, simulacrum, simulacrum imperialis. Add one to the results of test of faith that includes a model with this imperial in simacrylum if for good golly gosh and at least while there as well. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, so these are all the things that could take. One special weapons, bolt gun, special weapons or heavy weapons. So you can have two specials or one special and heavy. It was not replaced a bolt gun with a heavy weapon from the special. Uh, so you can have two heavy weapons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you can have two heavy weapons or two special weapons, or one of each, or a special, two specials and a simul, simul, oh good golly gosh, that one, the S word, 
So superior, but I ranged melee, ranged melee or melee weapons and just do another again. Cool, 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 cool. Bolt pistol with the pistols there. So pretty cool. Um, so you can build them out as you want. So you can just give them more bolters or you can give them heavy weapons. That is cool. I like that. And you can have technically have two heavy weapons, two specials, and have the add one to the axe of fear so that can make them work really well. Don't know about the points yet. We'll see. Jim. Germane, Gemini, Gemini Superior. So this is the, the one who goes with what's her face, Celestine. Obviously, feel free to rage in the comments section about how I'm pronouncing all of this. That is fine and dandy. Life wards lose a wound on two plus. So it does not lose wound. It suffers a mortal wound. So again, you can basically make her last longer. However, she has got two wounds. She's probably not going to last too much longer, except for the fact that she is a character. And so, um, might be alright as a bodyguard, basically. Now I'm going to go, someone might have a better reason, better use for this one. Um, Repentia, Repentia, I can't pronounce that. I'm not very good, very really good at uh, today with my um, pronunciation, am I? So, Penitent Eviscerator, so these guys, or gals even, behave. Um, so they're going to be strength 6, minus 2, 2 damage, you will subtract 1, so they're going to hit 50% Sam. Definitely have the uses, I guess. Um, Shield of Faith, Act of Faith. Mistress, Mistress of Repentance. Mm, okay. What does she have? Uh, neural Whips. Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades. So driven onwards, we will advance adapt to repent. Okay, so this is one that goes along with it. Mistress Penitent. Battle Forge does not take up detachment. Okay, so you might actually want that to happen. You might not not want that to happen unless you've got loads of cool elites that I'm not aware of. Um <clears throat> Okay, so this is obviously a buff for that one. So like a um Grot Herder and Grot Squad, basically. Not quite the same, so don't take that the wrong way again. Celestian squads, these I'm guessing are the jump packs, are they? Are they? Am I wrong? Each one was armed with. No, I'm wrong. So, what do these guys do? Gals do, sorry. Sorry. Bolt gun, ba 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 ba. Special weapons. Special weapons. Or heavy weapons. Ba 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 ba. So, you can do the same thing as you can with your, your effective tactical squad, sorry. Sister squad. Okay. Bodyguard. Ah, there we go. This is it. This is it. Uh, you can roll a d6 each time. Friendly character with a 2 plus. Basically, these guys or gals get the um, the wound. Do you know what? I'm not going to correct myself. Guys is fine because it's it's just used as a term to, uh, to, to refer to a group of people. Let's just go with that. So you can have five in the squad and they can take a, take a hit, basically. So basically, tactical squad with a that takes a hit for you for your um your characters. Guys, blah blah blah. At least subtract leadership from chaos. So if you're going against chaos, you as a breacher, um, you're going to subtract one from leadership. So that's cool. Add one to attacks, characteristic ministerum, um, militarum, astrum, and other friendly ministerum priests. Okay, so priests can. Add one to attacks characteristic. That's cool. Again, I feel like they're properly going yet yeah, buddy them up with these guys. Hospitala, Hospitala, Hospitala. Okay, let's have a quick uh, pause. So my understanding of this is you roll a four up and you can gain D3 wounds or bring back a person um, who has been wounded or dead in earlier on. Diologus, Diologus. We'll go with that one. Loud Hiller, add one to leadership, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we roll for tests of faith. So again, another buff, which is pretty cool. Arco Flagellants. Seven inch move. Uh, blah, 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 no ballistic skill, quite obviously. Two attacks, seven up save. Just make, just give them a no save. That's nasty. There's no need in that, is there? Um, just keep on, or even a six up would have been fine. But I can glaive. Does not take up that includes any minister on priests. 
uh, and a five up that does not lose a wound. So that's basically a five up save, isn't it? Really, um, in addition to a possible six up. So you get Zella. The weapon is plus one strength, so they're at strength five, minus one AP, one damage. Make D three hits for each attack. Okay, so effectively you could do six attacks, but you could do two or six attacks at strength five. Okay, and I've got a five up. Um, feel no pain effectively. So what I'll do is I'll have a quick, because I can't remember what I've done, um, you can take a quick screenshot of any of these, boom, 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 and boom, and we'll go to the next one. It's getting a bit on, but we're probably going to be quite close to the end now. So Crusaders, so these are in the Astromid's terms, that's why they've got the keyword there, three of invulnerable save with Storm Shield, however, Bark Enclave does not take a slots where it includes any minister and priest so if you bring in priests basically then you can bring a lot of units and it won't use up your thing i don't think that's really an issue let me know if you think otherwise in the comments down below but you know that's fine so these are an okay unit um put them in a rhino go after they're not exactly overpowered but they're okay they're okay they're not overpowered not even close to being overpowered they're okay though do these small attacks they can protect your people, basically. Death Cult Assassins. So, three wounds. It is, in fact, not a character. Um, two Death Cult Assassins, rather, obviously, then. They have strength four, toughness three, five up save. Five up invulnerable, so five up, five up. Minus two on their AP, one damage. Again, don't take up slots. And there's Zella as well. Right, okay. Very okay. Screenshot if you wish. Seraphim Squad. These are fast attacks. These are your flying d gals, gal dudes, whatever. Um, but uh, improve the invulnerable save. The unit receives a shield of faith by one to a maximum of three plus. So I'm guessing that's an upgrade, possibly. Sky Strike. Yep, so they can deep strike basically. Let's call it as it is. 12 inch move. Uh, basic. Um, Bolt of Gals, two bolt pistols. Okay, that's interesting. So you can get to shoot twice in combat. So that is slightly different. And I think it's kind of cool. But you can give them two hand flamers or two inferno pistols. So the hand flamer is D6, strength three, automatically hits. So you could have, wait a minute, replace both. Okay, so each one could have um, a possible D6 hits. That's pretty cool. I like that. And the inferno pistol is uh, basically like a melter gun. So again, Pretty cool, so these got a good utility. I feel like oh, most of this you guys might already know. Dominion Squad, let's have a look at those. These guys I think are the, so these are a fast attack, six inch move. Bolt pistol, bolt gun, so standard gals. Up to four, special weapons list, one Dominion replace over Okay. May take some similar good gosh that word I can't pronounce. Dominion Superior may either replace a bulk with a range weapon. So again, you could have a flamer. So you could have a very fiery squad with flamers. So that's pretty much what I feel like it is melter or flamer squad. I think that's what they use for mostly, isn't it? Basically a special weapon squad. So you can chuck them in a rhino um, and you can just bomb up the board and um, I believe melt someone or fire someone to death. Exorcist. So this is the heavy weapons. Uh, heavy weapon Nicholas, the heavy support choice. So it's much like, I believe, a Rhino. 12 wounds, toughness 8, so it isn't. It's quite like a, uh, a Lehman Russ in that respect. Uh, t toughness 8 is good. 12 wounds, that's good. 3 up save. Pretty standard for a, a vehicle like this. With an Exorcist missile launcher. So it's D6 shots, and it's strength 8, minus 4, that's good. D6 shots. Um, blah blah blah. It doesn't have any. So gonna have a storm bolter, um, or and a hunter killer missile. So it's okay, very okay. Let's see. Has the shield of faith. That means it's got an invulnerable save, doesn't it? Um, you can check back in the early in the video if you wish. And it's got smoke launchers too. So at the very worst, the last three wounds you're hitting on fives. Um, up to seven wounds, down to seven wounds you're hitting on threes, then you start in fours basically. And let's have a look. Retributor squads. So this is your Havoc squad, your Devastator squad, I do believe. Yep, heavy weapons. <clears throat> and you can do the add ones, I think it is. So D6 
they function like Havocs and Devastators with the Axe of Fade, so they will be slightly different flavoured um, in that respect, that's kind of what they do. Um, pretty cool. I think we're going to be getting close to the end. Penitent Engines, or um, I call them Imperial Killer Cannons. No, they're not really. 7-inch move, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 5, so I'm going to shoot very good. However, you've got flavours. That's basically it, innit? You don't need a good ballistic skill with that. 7 wounds, toughness 6, a 4-up save, so it's kind of like a Scout Sentinel. No, not a Scout Sentinel, a Armoured Sentinel with 4 attacks, which obviously fight better. Automatically hits his target. So the Buzz, Penitent Buzz Blades make it strength 10, minus 3, 3 damage. That is good. You can fight twice in each fight phase instead of only once. That is also good. So you can have... Wow, that's pretty cool. Sorry. <laughs> is that eight attacks at strength 10 with no minus ones to hit? So that's pretty cool. Each time, blah, blah, blah. So five at feeling of pain. So penicillin engines are really cool in my opinion. Um, are they still a metal model? Are they plastic or resin? But they're pretty sweet. Um, well, I think we're getting close to the end. So transport, yes, we are. We have the Rhino, which is almost identical, except it has the Shields of Faith. Okay, that's, I'm pretty sure that's right, so we don't, oh, yeah, again, screenshots. Go back again. Boom, and boom, and boom again. Immolator, I can't remember what this is, Immolation Flamer. 2d6, 12 inch range, pretty good. Automatically hit, strength 5, man, so it's like a heavy flamer, but 2d6 or a twin heavy flamer. That's basically what it is, a 12 inch range, that's good. So you can move up um, your 12 inches, advance as well. Is it a heavy weapon? Oh, it's assault, so you can do that. So you can advance, so you can move 18 inches possibly, and then have a 12 inch range, so you can burn stuff from the, from the get-go. Excuse me, toughness 7, 10, wounds 3, up, saved. All the standard dandy stuff that you normally get. Pretty much, it's like a good rhino with a flamer. Effectively. Uh, is that it? So, do a screenshot. I will have a full on look at this, but again, you can do a screenshot and zoom in when you wish. Points of value, so this might be important to some people. It's going on a bit this video, but um, obviously, we're doing a quick flick through so you can see. I'll probably focus on some of these units in the future, possibly, uh, but I think that's it, really, isn't it? Apparently not. No, 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 no. It is literally like a codex. So, um, all the convictions, blah, blah, blah. It just says everyone in the unit. Um, yeah. Okay. Pious and the Penitent. Blah, 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 blah. Units uh, gaining an order conviction that these units listed below. Can never themselves okay so these guys cannot get um anything from the order convictions however um we'll see how they go we'll have a quick look at them so it was getting to the end then silly me silly me valorous heart each time conviction so basically six up feeling a pain it's good yeah good i like that each time a unit is conviction is destroyed you gain one fifth point so Martyred Lady, that kind of sounds right then, doesn't it? Don't know if that's any good, unless you bring those units, you know, you know how it goes. Um, well, hold on, oh, hold on a minute. It says, each time a unit with, uh, no, 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 a unit with this conviction. Silly me. Ignore me. The Ebon Chalice. Add once a test of faith with the conviction. So if you have the um, unit one that I cannot pronounce plus the um, plus one, then you're going to get plus two. So you're more likely going to get it almost 100% sound. The Argent Shroud. Destroy this conviction of four plus you gain a fifth point. Why would you take that one and not the other one? Why would you take the other one, not this one? Each time, ah, there you go. So it's the opposite of that one. Any time you destroy a unit, you get a fifth point on a four plus. Cool. Add one strength and attacks characteristics. How good do 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 Charge move forever, okay. Good, good. So that makes you violence. Um, obviously you won't be able to do it on the penitent engine, but you know, cool. Units of conviction can never lose more than a single model as a result. Ah, okay. Failed morale test. Which fires overwatch. Wow. That seems a bit very good. I don't know which one's my favourite. Possibly um, the Feel No Pain or the Add One to fi uh, Test of Faith. So I think they're pretty sweet. 
stratagems. Here we are. Again, we're not going to spend too much time on these. Uh, open them really, really, yeah, it's the standard. Get all the thingies. Thingamabobs, you know what I'm talking about. Stuff and all the witch, blah, 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 blah. Extremist trigger word. There's an obvious joke to be made here, and I'm going to stay well away from that minefield. Um, like the little snowflake that I am. Right, so uh, you may indeed screenshot that if you haven't already done on the other page. Boom. Obviously, we boomed that one already. Another stratagem. Boom. Have a little look. Well, that's very wordy. Cool. Um, Banner of the water mill to blah, 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 improve our one. Good. So they're pretty good. So it's a maximum of three, so you can have a really cool thing in. That's one command point. Faith and Fury. And then we're going to probably get our standard. No, we're not. Is there one specific? So it doesn't look like there's one specific to the chapters, chapters, the orders, unless I've missed it. Wall of Traits. We're going on, we're going on. It's like a big codex review at the minute. Um, blah, 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 inspiring. We roll failed morale test for spending the order. That's good. Righteous Rage. We roll failed charge. And failed wound rolls. Okay, cool. Execution of heretics. Add one to leadership characteristics. Subtract Nicholas. So you could combine that with the other one, I think, possibly. Beacon of Faith. Again, plus four. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I feel like that won't be affected by the like guard like stratagem one, if I'm honest. So you'll probably be able to do that on a four plus every every time. So that's okay, it's it's passive though. Indomitable belief. Fair plus invulnerable save within six inches of the warlords. That's good. Blah blah blah. Subtracts one from the psychic test, so that's good. Do we have any specifics? No, but we have some. There we go. Sorry. We'll do the screenshot trick again. Sorry. <coughs> boom. And boom. Relics of the ex Ecclesiarchy. Let's have a quick glance. Following thing is a plus two strength, so strength five for most people, minus three, three damage, good. St. Lucius, um, aura abilities by three, good. Brazier of the Eternal Flame, roll 2d6, deny, so da, da. okay. Litanies of Faith, d6. Okay, so you return anything. So again, like the guard ones for stratagems, but it's specific to the orders malarkey that they do with this one. We've just said it. Canoness only, the bearer, can have a three plus of save. Good. Make them more survivable. And that's obviously free. Um, bolt pistol only, Wrath of the Emperor, 18 inches. Good. Pistol, three strength, five. Good. Minus one, two damage. Good. Very good. And we're going back into Renegade Knights. So again, take a screenshot if you will. Uh, let me know what you thought about the rules. If I've got anything wrong, which I likely will have done, tell me in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, it's interesting to see that the sisters are coming back. Obviously, like any index, I feel like it's a mini codex. So it's, we've not seen specific stratagems, unless I'm wrong, um, for the specific orders. Um, so that could be a thing that we're yet to see in the main codex. Maybe they're still fleshing out. They want people to play it and basically give them some hints. So obviously send Games Workshop a message um, if you've got any ideas what this should do, because it might actually take it into account in the new GW. Um, what do I think of this? I think it's cool. I think they've not shown new models, which I think is interesting. Let's flick back through. I don't know where it was. We're getting there, we're getting there, but we're not there. So it looks like the old model's in here. Um, before they update the codex, obviously you can see the difference of what we're going to get for basically a Seraphim squad is going to be similar to that one, um, as opposed to like this one. However, again, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's exactly competitive, but that's for you guys to decide, not for me. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.